Hey everybody, it's Luke Gordon here, and I wanted to answer another common question I get about treating vertigo, which is, can vertigo be cured, or can it ever really go away for good? And with this question, we're specifically going to be talking about vertigo that's caused by BPPV, which is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, which is those little crystals in your ear. So I talk a lot about those in videos. And so that's specifically what we're going to talk about is, if you have that, if you have BPPV, can you get it to go away for good? So I'm going to kind of walk you through how this all works. Um, but first, before I dive into that, I just wanted to mention that when it comes to you know this video being useful to you, what you really have to determine is, are you dealing with BPPV or are you dealing with something else, like a Meniere's disease or a neuritis or a, some other cause of like dizziness and lightheadedness, which can be related to things like your heart and your blood pressure, underlying conditions like that. Um, so if you're not sure if you have BPPV, um, check out this video first because this one explains how to basically get a handle on the top three signs that you're having uh, vertigo caused by the little ear crystals um, and just consider that because I'm going to dive into now if you you're pretty sure you have that then can you get rid of it is there a cure for it and the basic answer to that question is yes that you can get rid of it for good but there's a few things that you really need to keep in mind and you need to highlight in order to make that actually work so first of all, again, do you have BPPV? Um, if the answer is yes, then you're going to treat it, right? So you're going to treat it with repositioning maneuvers. You've got the Epley for posterior canal. You've got the Gafani for horizontal canal. And I've got videos on that too that I can link at the end here. But so you're going to treat the vertigo, which means that you're going to get those little crystals which have floated out from where uh, they usually live. They floated into your semicircular canals. And so the repositioning maneuvers then are going to help you get those crystals back to where they belong. So that's basically, can you get rid of the vertigo that's your first step you've gotten the crystals back to where they live now um, after that what tends to happen though is a couple things that you have to keep in mind the first thing is is that recurrence of uh, BPPV can be quite high in certain populations um, especially as we get older things like that you know you get the crystals back from where they belong but unfortunately you know a week or a month later they float back in so recurrence is something that you have to be aware of and there's no real trick to mastering recurrence other than now hopefully you know what you have uh, going on and you've worked with someone who can treat it or if you're treating it on your own um, at least you know how to treat it now. So you've got to keep recurrence uh, in mind. And that gets into, too, after you've treated yourself with the repositioning maneuvers, so again, Epley or Gafani, um, knowing that uh, the first couple days afterwards, you know, we have like post-treatment instructions, which is basically try to sleep elevated for a couple days. If it's your right side, try not to sleep on your right side for a couple days if you can, just to reduce the chances of it recurring. When you get those little crystals to go back where they belong, which is kind of like a little jelly pad, you want them to just stay stuck over there. So again, after you've been treated, you want to keep that in mind. Um, keep an eye out for recurrence. If it happens, just get treated again and do the things that you can to minimize it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to really highlight in this video too, then, when you're talking about can vertigo be cured, is that you might still have some residual symptoms after you've had the treatment maneuvers. So you've done the Epley, and you're no longer having the, the torsional nystagmus that you can see in your eyes. You know, you don't feel that bad going back and forth into the, into the provocative positions anymore. But when you're walking and you're turning your head, or maybe you're in a busy environment or something like that, you still feel a little bit unsteady or wobbly, and you just don't feel as confident that you could make you know, quick turns or quick movements. So that's very, very normal. We would call that vestibular hypofunction, uh, which just means like inner ear weakness. So if you've had issues with balance and vertigo for a while, just because you got rid of those crystals in your inner ears and they're now back where they belong, doesn't mean you go right back to feeling 100% like you did say a year or two ago. Because in that meantime, your inner ear just hasn't been working properly. The overall functioning of it is going down over time. And then other balance factors like your strength and agility and stuff like that is probably also not as good as it used to be. So this leads to my next important point, which is after you've gotten the crystals back, you're going to want to do some version of vestibular rehab. So you're going to want to work on inner ear exercises. You're going to want to work on balance exercises. Now I've got some videos on that as well, uh, which I'll link here to the end. Uh, very common exercise to do right after you've had the Epley maneuver, things like that. So again, that's the last point for today is that you're going to want to get into some rehab exercises at the very end or at the tail end because now you're going to want to just maximize your inner ear function. So vestibular exercises, again, what you want to drive at. Um, I've got videos on that. 
Um, check those out after this one. And before you go, please leave me a comment. Um, if you liked the video, if you have more questions, leave it there. Or if you have had good success treating your vertigo and getting rid of it completely with kind of the, the sequence that I described today, you know, getting rid of the crystals, uh, trying to keep them from coming back, and then also doing the exercises, please leave um, some comments about your story because these comments really do help other people in a similar position as you. So that's the video. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching.